Okay, so next up, uh, as I told in my uh, presenting speech, that uh, we are talking about United Nations Development Goals. This uh, chapter was written by Ingun Grande and Christine Encher from Norway, but they are not here at the moment present in this stream, so uh, Kjell Magne Fagerbakke will present this chapter and, and stuff around it. So well, I'm um, delighted to uh, present this uh, paper by uh, Ingo Grande and Christine Anscher. Uh, I'm, um, I'm the leader of the BN Norway and um, I also have a PhD in biology, so sustainability and nature is uh, uh, one part of uh, my uh, entrance to the UBI society. You may also have um, met um, Hilde Latour presenting this uh, type of um, a, of, um, of the SDGs and uh, UBI. I hope you enjoy mine as well. There's several ways of visualizing the SDGs. If, this one is um, divided into biosphere, society, and economy. Uh, I also like the donut model of Kate Rowell because uh, it illustrates the SDGs in an understandable manner. In short, it shows social downfalls in the middle and the environmental overshoot at the old side. Going outside the donut, we find the weakness of the Nordic lifestyle. However, although the inside looks great, we know there is a lot of holes and pitfalls to fall into. And for the whole world as a whole, there are a long way to go before achieving an acceptable social foundation. Uh, therefore, we need a wealth floor to stand on more than we need a target so, targeted uh, social security net, which continuously fails to accom accommodate everyone. Dignity is an important part of humanity, and uh, UBI includes, it, uh, includes us all. Poverty is a harsh condition of human suffering associated with lesser quality of life and less social cohesion. To quote Rutger Bergman, poverty is not lack of character, poverty is a lack of money. And here we see three of the STD goals fulfilled at once just by adding money. Money ends poverty, enable food shopping, and by cutting the, the tail of poverty, a more equal society appear. Uh, one less intuitive uh, consequence of the UBI, which also Martin showed, uh, are the improved health condition of the receivers, and many become a ma uh, and may become a major advantage of UBI. This makes not only individuals but also organizations and society at large. Uh, will have a net profit from the basic income. The, the improved living condition also increases the opportunity to improve the SDG 6 clean water and the sanitation, which may generate a loop that again improve health and well-being. The author also mentioned that uh, regenerative farming may be uh, stimulated by UBI, which again will be favorable to improve the water quality for uh, for the humans in the neighborhood. Grants, um, which is the major uh, source of financing uh, uh, students today, may not be enough to stimulate education. UBI can be that game changer and make creativity flourish. The power to say no is a gift of UBI and will improve labor condition. Labor at acceptable terms may indeed have beneficial effects on health. It, proves, it, pro, yeah, sorry. it provides money, skills development, it's a social network and self-efficiency. It is equally true that unemployment generally is more detrimental to health than employment. 
the UBI balanced these two conditions by removing the common insecurity appearing whether people do labor or not. Um, the U universal basic income also contributes to SDG 5, gender equality, by ensuring that everyone, including the individual who has the most caring responsibility in, in a family, also has a personal income and is financially independent. Nordic countries have been pioneers in the gender equality, both in the political and the business field. Introducing UBI will be a new natural a continuation to strengthen these progressive traditions on a long-term basis. In other words, UBI levels uh, the playing field. Again, I'm inspired of Kate Rover and the model where the economy includes both the household and the commons. She claims that these features have to be important parts of the economy, and I think UBI is the major contributor of making them relevant. To achieve uh, the, the um, SDG 12, responsible consumption and production, SDG 13, climate action, we need to consume less. Overproduction of goods and food, foods must end, and uh, industrial emission must be reduced. From the garbage production economy, we should move towards a circular economy. Our responsibility for future generations forces us to keep the material longer in the consumption phase. Though rep uh, through reparation, reuse, resign, redesign, and uh, other processes, similar processes. Today, only 9% of our global consumption, in Norway actually 2.4%, is based on reused resources. UBI liberates the time needed and encourage people to investigate more in the circular economy than in the present. The, the move towards a more sustainable economic, economic model needs more innovation and local production. A secure minimum income can release entrepreneurs and farmers of um, the heavy burden of economic survival I will facilitate innovation and the creation of small-scale activities, growing out of the people's own needs and aspirations, such as activities, can be seen as meaningful, an alternative to outmoded and ill-functioning systems. UBI in a world uh, will add sustain, uh, sorry, UBI in, in a just world, but add stability and peace. I jump through human rights, conflict and crime. UBI, uh, UBI shall increase trust among people and society, which is an important glue. If you add some cookies uh, to both the persons in, the, in this picture, the, the scapegoat rhetoric seen, uh, seen here will fa uh, fall apart. And we shall address the problems that are uh, real, not constructed. Yes, even a few more to the rich wouldn't change the new balance. So this is uh, going fast. I think only two of the um, SDGs are missing now. I think Hilde Latour omitted six. However, if I had more time, and I mean, <laughs> it seems like I have, but... Uh, um, uh, well, it could be possible to add uh, those two as well, which is uh, life uh, above and under water, uh, yeah, at land and uh, underwater. Uh, it, it is my belief that the UBI should change your mindset and flourish a new society where meeting all the SDGs are ob uh, obviously. I'll end this presentation with a quote from the authors. The Nordic countries have a strategic role to play in being able to actually show the path for a sustainable future in accordance with the SDGs that we, are, that we all agree upon, but fail to commit to reaching. Thank you for your attention.
Thank you, Kel. That was that was great, very clear, and brought new information. If you read the pamphlet, so you can read uh, uh, more from there.